Greetings, my friends. This is Jules Monsillon. I'm coming back to speak about spirituality here, as transcendental psychology, the ascension principle. The, 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 and, and so we, it is very important to realize that we need to align with peace, with joy, with happiness, with creativity and freedom. It is the only thing that we really seek. And everybody needs to make the choice again and again and again and again for the light, for the ascension, for the, for the love. For, and, and it's challenging. Um, personally, Spirit tells me I don't have a choice anymore. It's like the choice has been anchored. But we do need to anchor this choice to, to have faith in the inner self or return into the matrix. Uh, every, very soon the matrix will dissolve so that uh, so it will, it's much better to start preparing for this this transition for the light of the soul this 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 inner light of the soul of father mother god and the one is cannot be extinguished it can it cannot be destroyed but it can be denied huh? a lot of people are living completely outside of their soul energy their soul information the, the purely in the ego and the power but for you are the light you are the truth you are the way huh? uh, you cannot find it or expect it from outside until it is connected from within the kingdom of god is within everything will flow from there as joshua you said Christ. But the mental body will resist. I will not want love the mental body. Do not judge your ego mind, but it's like uh, just deal with it, find peace with it. And just uh, um, it's like you do not have self judgment when you, you your mind is resisting something that your soul wants. Just uh, pass through, realign as soon as possible. For um, for we need to pay all the karmic debts, and there is, there is not before we can be free and ascend. We cannot always understand all that is going on. I'm talking about the awakening community, those who aspire to the freedom and, and, and joy of the higher planes. For for the, the awakening community, will have to face their shadows, and the dark ones will have to to go through a much longer process of transition. But the I am presence, the God consciousness, has to be found within and above the mind, the spirit, and the source. As uh, in the Muslim prayer, you know, it's between you and God, directly to God. Uh, it's like so. So it's like it's like uh, uh, because we're all carrying a cross down here, a cross of matter. There's the pillar of light, and there is the cross of matter of time. But this cross can get heavy, but it gets lighter as the I am presence can take more control over the situation and takes more of the more of, can alleviate all the burdens. We have to continue to utilize the violet fire to. to send much violet fire into the world for all that is limited to be transmuted and when it's something that's like just there is no limitation it's just love just respond with love or light but, uh, but it's important to walk very slowly but never to look back never to, to go back although sometimes we make one step forward two step backward one step two step forward one step backward it's like a dance but but it's still not to go backwards and to to move forward slowly and but surely for the divine accounting does not make mistakes god is not an accountant but the the, the energies of life are perfect in that way um, everything is orchestrated we also need to understand the dark. There are so many dark portals that allow extraterrestrial negative invasions. But now that we're working behind the scene to evacuate all of those darker entities, I don't want to talk, get into the nature of that in this video. But um, but it's it and it's been transformed. The portals have been transformed to serve the light. And the negative technology will be transformed to serve the the awakening. Um, uh, community and, and there is so much uh, solar activity right now it's like it, there's all kinds of possibility for great shift from those solar activity it affects both the human consciousness as the planetary field and, and although the four the dark forces will resist the light is everywhere is in every crack every volcano every ocean every river every the, the, the light is everywhere so so the dark forces will continue in their full resistance but the light is adapting and gaining strength and 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 power each and every day just as it is in our own consciousness well i hope this message was interesting for you i thank you so very much for your donations for your for your likes for your sharing for your comment for your comments and for also subscribing if you uh, if you want to stay tuned to what is going on within uh, uh, i'm going to have soon very very a lot of wonderful project that i've been going to be coming aligned to, to federate consciousness and uh, around joy and culture and and so this is a, this is a I have no choice the spirit says I had a lot of things I had to let go of so many things but spirit says you don't have a choice so I stopped resisting on that level I'm going to pull a few records to, to 
finish and sing a song, the, um, the observer of the days in between world. It means like we, we're still like, we, we don't have total clarity over what's going on. So we're still like in between worlds, the buffer zone. The highest wisdom is may the truth be. The truth cannot be hidden forever. So the truth, the truth your truth needs to be communicated as well. And, and, it, and, and it will be, the truth is self-revealing. What we need to understand is the young. What is the correct action? The, the divine will in like the divine will in action. What we need to do is trust, and the outcome will be the, the wind of change. The wind of change is turning. It's like it turns all the time, but it's uh, so. It's like to, to to go with the flow, huh? to, to 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 prepare, to, to to be ready, and to 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 for the wind of change blow straight into the winds of time, like a storm wind that will ring the freedom bell for peace of mind. As the song says, the the observer of the day is the karmic relation. There is no escape from karmic relation. We need to to make peace with all of it and to accept the good karma as well. There is good karma that sometimes we do, it's not obvious when we start feeling it. But so the the, the 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 highest wisdom is the bride and groom. There is this potential for deep relationship, long term relationships, or new relationships, or, or deepening relationships. What we need to understand is the wishes. We all made wishes. We, we made promises. Like the song I'm going to sing, it's like we, we don't want to break the promises that we, we, we want to break free from uh, unconscious promises, but we want, to, we want to be true to the promises we made to the Creator before we came and to make true, to, to hold on to the promises we made to others. Otherwise, better not make promises. So what we need to do is to stay within the angelic frequency and to trust that we are guided by the angels. And the outcome will be the empowerment, the Greco-Romans. The, the, it, it is the, to me, it is the power of all this, the, the, the astrology and the power of the planet, the cosmic forces. And I'm going to pull a few more oracles with the Dakini. Well, we had this card in the French reading. The observer of the day is a dangerous pussy, the past. For the past, we don't want to go back into the past, but when the past returns, we need to integrate it, to make peace with it. The highest wisdom is to, to let go of, um, of unconscious, uh, of melancholy, of nostalgia, of gloominess, of, of, of depression and all that, and to shift as soon as possible into something better. So to turn into whatever makes you feel good. It's like you don't need to, to linger. We don't need to linger in, in, in gloominess. So what we need to understand is the cosmic carrot. There is always a guidance that is being offered. So if we follow the guidance, we are always being led. Sometimes it is surprising what comes, but we, we have to follow it. What we need to do is to, to, to let go of the mind. And it's a threefold riddle. The mind will not be able to solve the, the puzzle. So it's not about the mind resolving it mentally through speculation. It is about integrating the knowledge. And the outcome will be a solid return. It's going to be a very powerful turning point. As we, we we don't give in, we, we understand that we can, we, sometimes we can get depressed or we can go down or we can be shocked or we can be, find whatever negative lower emotions. We want to transmute it with violet fire. And from there, we, we have to tune in to the, the, the highest frequency of joy. And, and uh, here it's called the elixir fruit, the essence. It's about testing the best things out of life. Yet we do need discrimination. And uh, what we need to do, and what we need to do in terms of the, this, this threefold riddle is to, to find the wish fulfilling gem, to find the, to find the, the, the love, the, 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 the true, uh, the true, uh, true harmony, and uh, to find harmony and to trust that life or God and, and, and your soul already know what's best for you. So trust it. You can let it go. It will come back. If it's, if it's part of the destiny, we'll, we'll definitely, um, Yet uh, spirit is always reactive to each and every impulse, every, each, every thought, every intention we have. So, so just to continue to cultivate this sense of, of being aware of what's going on within and to continue to align and shift it into these higher planes. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I'm going to finish with this song that imposed itself in my mind today. The song of you too. It's called All I Want Is You. You say you want Diamonds on the ring of gold You say you want Your story to remain untold But all the promises we make From the cradle to the grave 
when all I want is you. You say you'll give me a highway with no one on it, treasures just to look upon it, all the riches in the night. You say you'll give me eyes in the moon of blindness, a river in a time of dryness, a harbor in the tempest. But all the promises we make, from the cradle to the grave, when all I want is you, you say you want your love to work out right, to last with me through the night. You say you want diamonds on a ring of gold, your story to remain untold, your love not to grow cold, but all the promises we break, from the cradle to the grave, when all I want is you, you all I want is you, all I want is you. Oh, what romantic love, that overshadows everything sometimes. And uh, but we don't want to break the sometimes we break the promises we made, so it's better we have to well, we have to deal with it, and <laughs> no matter what we do, we all have to deal with it. So we just follow, trust your path. The, the, well, the, the observer of the day is family, for, for I know there's like a family ties that even if I have to let them go at some point, they will come back because they, they, we, we have this soul connection with this family. I'm not talking necessarily about blood family, I'm talking about soul family. Well, sometimes soul family are part of our family, but not always. Sometimes there is a great deal of this difference within the consciousness of different members of a, of a, of a blood family. The, the highest wisdom is re reparation. We need to bring back everything back into balance and to repair, to, 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 to rearrange. And um, the, the highest wisdom, the, what we need to understand is work. There is some work to be done. Well, personally, I'm kind of happy. There is a, I have a little, a little deal that's going to be happening. That's pretty good. And that may give me a, a bit of resources. I won't be able to settle all my affairs with that, but enough, enough breathing space until I can resolve my bigger affair. A bigger deal, which will free me to 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 do all that I need to do, which is coming. I feel it is it is here already. It just hasn't manifested yet. For what we need to do is serenity, to be to be in peace, to be trank, tranquil, to be to relax, to to feel good, to breathe. And the outcome is indulgence. We're gonna be. We deserve to be a bit indulgent. It's like we're gonna deserve to be a bit indulgent to to satisfy, to to find satisfaction within the pleasures within life. Because it's it's been a really. We need. It's a little bit of a reward. Although we we still need to keep things on track eh? and to be determined. There's gonna be determination in in the fulfillment of that process. To stay determined, not to not to allow the, the chaos along the way to, to to distract or to discourage you whenever. Huh? It's like, but sometimes we completely discourage, and then spirit comes to pick us up because we, we we're facing some very very intense dark energies. From it's part of the collective uh, uh, transmutation. We, we God knows we're strong, so we're getting a lot of the energy that the collective would be unable to deal. So we're dealing not only of our own. Sometimes our karma is is clear. We're personally, I feel like. I've cleared my karma, but God has forgiven me and I've forgiven the world. So, so it's like, but I'm still taking a lot of that transmuting energy for the collective. It's like, it's like carrying the heavy loads. And the card of the day is the, the four of, of Raphael. It's like a cup that is given. And so to just take the cup, whatever cup it is, it says, look, looking into other possibility. Look into the magical side of life, becoming aware of your emotion. So here she's making her sand castle. Huh? It's like uh, so. So it's very much a color. I'm, I'm going to pull another one just to to see. Um, once we look into other possibility and we 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 address the, the magical side of life, 
Then we find the four of Gabriel, it's another four. We have the four of Raphael, then we're getting the four of Raphael, which is like, uh, which is the reward. Uh, it's, it's, it really feels like the reward. And it says, uh, after the effort, the recomfort, you are harvesting the fruits of your work. Free yourself from situations that are burdensome. So, so it's, it's very much about that. Uh, it's very much about, um, about completion. Completion of a cycle. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later. Salut.